Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So, this is what I'm seeing here, guys. <laughs> um, so there's somebody that just now has a newfound hope or faith or belief in this connect a connection that you share with them now because this has been coming through a lot in my readings. Who just had a reading like this today? Sagittarius. I they believe maybe even. Yeah, I think it was Sag, maybe even Pisces. There's somebody here that has a newfound faith or, or hope in this relationship. They think this relationship can work now because like they were having they were they couldn't make up their mind about this connection. But now they think this connection can work now because they see that you have gained some type of popularity. So now that you guys are doing better. Now that you guys are, you're like, your money's looking good. You guys are more popular. You're getting a lot of attention. Now this person thinks that this relationship could work. It's like them seeing you gain popularity. You guys could be making more money than you used to is making them. They're like feeling more encouraged now to come towards you. Now they're missing you. Now they're feeling emotional about the breakup or the separation. They're feeling sad and depressed that you guys are not together or in separation. It's like now this person has a new awareness of this connection or a new, they've woke, they, they're they woke now. Like they now think this connection is meant to be and that you guys are supposed to be together. Only now because you guys have gained some type of popularity or you guys are doing better. You guys are had a glow up. You guys are successful. So this is the type of person that only wants you probably because now they see that you had a glow up. They see that you have achieved some type of fame or some type of um, status. And I feel like they want to be a part of that. Now they think this relationship can work. Which, you know, obviously that's not the kind of person that you really want to be involved with, right? Now this person wants to have a date here. I see this person asking you out on a date to try to reel you back in, to try to talk about feelings now because this is probably somebody that would not open up to you in the past. Now this person's obsessed with you. They're stalking you. They're watching you. It's like now this person feels like they like you more or they're into you more now because of something here about you guys having some type of popularity or fame or you're getting some type of attention. Mm -mm. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about viral. What's this viral? Yeah, it's like you're doing something that's public. It's something public that you guys do. So some of you guys have businesses. Some of you guys are influencers. Some of you guys are um, something. You guys have achieved some type of fame. Now they want to talk. Yeah, some of you guys are self-employed, very adventurous people, non-traditional. Now they want to go out and it's like now they want to break some type of generational curse or go against the grain. Like maybe this was somebody that was trying to fit in. following the footsteps of like their family members, their mom and their dad or something along the lines of that. Now they want to do something more unique. They want to step into their individuality or do something that nobody would expect them to do. Something that's very unlike them. Bye, Felicia. They left you because they were listening this person took some type of advice from somebody else and that's what caused them to leave. If this, if this person left you, ghosted you, dismissed you, acted like they didn't care about you is because they were listening to some type of gossip, some type of gossip about you or they were listening to some type of advice from somebody else. Yeah, that's why they weren't giving they weren't putting any effort. They wanted to keep their options open or somebody was telling them to keep their options open or they were pay, playing games because they're being non-committal. Yeah, look at this, guys. Outdated opinions. 
they were trying to follow like tradition. They were, they, like this could be a very traditional person. They think that you're, you know, you're supposed to stay with the person. Like you're supposed to get, I don't know. It's like this person's like very old school in the way that they think about relationships. And you guys can be very unique and open-minded and just, you, you know, march to, be, to the beat of your own drum. And um, this person, this person's very resistant to change too. So that's why they were um, not committing to you. That, that scared them. That, see, that was a big change for them. But I swear, guys, it's like now that they see you doing very well, you gained some type of fame or you got, it's like they, now they're not scared anymore. All right, tell me about Netflix and chill. They were reckless. This person was acting, they were very reckless with your feelings or with your heart. They ghosted you. What's this have to do with not Netflix and chill? This this is somebody that you could have met on a dating website. They were maybe talking to a lot of different people on a dating website. But you guys could have met this person on a dating website and then you guys started meeting up with them. Having little dates like, that, you know, you guys would meet each, meet, you know, have, spend time with each other at each other's houses, watch some Netflix. You guys may have even hooked up with this person. But I feel like you guys actually had feelings for this person, but they they were refusing to. They were just breadcrumbing you. They were refusing to give you anything canceled. Yeah, it's like they just dismissed you. They slept on you. They thought you were just some like little fling. They didn't handle you with care because they didn't really think that this connection was important. But now they're seeing you guys have gained some type of success or fame or attention. And now they want to come back. Now they have, they believe in this connection. Now they want this connection. Now they're ready to break out of their, their ways. Stop resisting change. Now they want to come in. In the past, this person was dismissing you and they weren't interested. Now this person, this could be a person that lives at a distance from you too, guys. They, they're going to have to travel to you. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna say they want to travel or they want to travel somewhere not too far, but they want to travel with you. Yeah, this person's been coming back here. They're going to come back. You guys are not going to let this person walk on you, though. Mm -mm, you guys aren't going to let this person get over on you. Yeah, look at this. We'll do anything to win you over. They're coming in acting real nice, applauding you, complimenting you. Because you guys have achieved something here. Or you guys are just doing very well for yourselves. Now they're coming in begging. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at this, guys. Wanting what someone else, what you have is what they want. It says wanting what someone else has. So this person, it's like they're um, they're a little bit jealous. I don't, I wouldn't even say this person is jealous of you. They may be a little bit jealous, but they're more, they're coming in now because of something that you have. There's something that you guys have achieved. It's the month, your the amount of money you make, the amount of attention you're getting, the amount of fame, the status you have. You know, it's something about that. That's what's appealing to this person. That's what's triggering this person to come back. It's because now they see you guys are like making a lot of money. They see you guys are getting a lot of attention. You guys could be becoming famous or something, some type of stardom. I don't know. That's what's making this person come back. Yeah. With the side hustle, it could be your business is doing very well, thriving. You guys could, I told you, self-employed. Some type of hobby or skill that you have is like going is like getting a lot of attention. You guys could just be doing very well financially, and they know that somehow. Mm. Now they believe. Now they feel like they've awakened to this connection. They're like, dang, we could have had that together. Look at this, guys. You guys can't trust. Look at this. This person's low class. This person um, is not worth your time because they're just not a good person. They're only coming back towards you from what they can gain from this situation. They're trying to. It's like they just want to leech off of your success or, you know, what you have achieved, your achievements. They want to know what's really been going on with you. Look at this love bombing. Yeah, this person wants to know what's been going on with you. So they're going to be coming in love bombing you. They're going to come in trying to get, let's like get you to do what they want you to do. 
manipulate you in some while, some some way, coming in, making it seem like they love you, but they actually have other intentions. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's like this person's going to be trying too hard. It's like they're going to be like kind of obsessed with you is what I'm seeing here. They're going to be kind of acting a little bit obsessed. Yeah, look at this glow up. You guys have had a glow up, a big transformation here. So they're going to be coming in, being extra, doing every, any and everything to get back into your good graces. Yeah, the, well, let's see, guys. I don't know. Hmm. It's like, guys, I, I don't, I'm going to just, it's like, I don't. 100% feel like this person is really trying to have bad tensions 100% but I do see here that what's made what's finally triggering this person to come back towards you to and to try to get this relationship started is something that you guys have achieved is make it's like that's usually what happens people see you have a glow up they see you doing very well for yourself and it triggers them to want to come back towards you but it's like I don't see that this person has bad like ex completely bad intentions but if this person comes back, you guys need to at least make this person prove to you that they have, you know, what their intentions are. All right? Because I do see this person is coming in. They're going to be putting work in. They're not going to just be trying. They are going to be trying to put some work in to try to win you over. Um, I know you guys aren't going to believe this person. Listen to your intuition. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about this person. little materialistic that's what I'm getting here it's like I'm not getting that they're a terrible person but it's like they're just they're materialistic it's like you guys are gonna be feeling like this person's doing too much <laughs> It's like, I feel like you guys are going to be, like, a little bit, you guys are going to be there, definitely apprehensive about this person. Hmm. I definitely see that you guys are looking good. Shade. Somebody is, I need someone a lot. Yeah, it's like somebody is obsessed with you. This person's like a little bit obsessed. But I feel this person did you guys wrong or you feel wrong by this person. And like. I feel like you guys are going to want to maybe probably run dodge this person or just put them in a put them on the back burner or dismiss them. I don't know if you guys are going to be interested when this person comes back around. Because of the way that you guys are looking at this person because of what happened in the past. So, mm. let's take a look to see um, what this person's intentions are. Cause I, that's what I'm, I keep hearing something about their intentions. He can be my pool boy. Well, it's looking like um, this person will do anything to get close to you again or into your good graces. So they actually might agree to be your pool boy. All right.
what's this person's intentions? What's their true intentions? So this person just feels like they're bad at relationships. They don't feel they have any game. It says, if you forgive me and allow me to enter your life, there's still hope for us. So this person wants your forgiveness. They now have hope in this. Like, this is exactly what I just read for you guys. Let's have a date, guys. So it's just, this is just validating everything I just told you. Yeah. So I was reading this person's intentions correctly. So this person just is not good at relationships. This person wants your forgiveness. They want to re-enter your life. They have hope for this connection now. They're going to ask you out on a date and they want to, they're going to go with the flow. They're going to go with whatever it is that you will allow. It's in your hands. Yep. They're going to leave it up to you. It, it's going to be up to you whether or not they, this turns into a relationship or, you know, you guys start talking again. They feel like they've done their part by coming in to, like, it's like this person's coming in. They're going to be trying to put work and effort into, you know, trying to rebuild this connection with you. But they're saying it's up to you. You know, if you guys end up together long term, they're going to come in. They're going to apologize. They're going to try to initiate this relationship. Now it's going to be up to you to decide whether or not that's something you want. Mm, see, here we go. I'm going to continue to play mind games. I can't make. So this person's kind of coming in. Um, they, they have an ego, guys. They have an ego. They don't want you to know that they are obsessed with you because this person's obsessed with you. Okay, but they don't want you to know that. So they're going to be playing it cool. But this person's going to be expressing something to you here. This person um, has, is very, has a family situation that takes up a lot of their energy and focus. That's maybe what they've been focusing on is their family or if they have children, they've been focusing on their children. But I'm seeing here that they don't want to wait. They've been trying to get that situation under control. They've been overthinking, trying to really think things through before they came in. Uh, but I see this person's about to make an impulsive move here. They don't want to wait anymore. They want to just take things to the next level or they want to get this you know, cracking. So look at this. I'm ready to build on a more solid foundation, but I'm telling you guys, they feel that way. Maybe before, for some reason, this person thought that you, it's like, they didn't think you had a good job. They didn't think you were stable enough or that you didn't have enough to bring to the table. I don't know why this person thought that, but now this person feels like you guys can have solid, something solid and build something together. It could not have anything to do with you. It could be this person. Maybe this person felt like they were not stable enough to be able to build anything with you. All right. Look at this. I wasn't even going to pull this, but it says, finally, the perfect time to come together. Our love will prove to be worth the wait. So now they think the timing is right for you guys to um, try to build this connection, build this relationship. So let's get some um, characteristics, guys. Let's see who we're dealing with here. Every single characteristic that comes out is not going to be for your person. Take what resonates and leave the rest with this. This is a collective reading. We're not doing specific signs. But there may be signs that come out in the characteristics pot deck. All right, let's get some characteristics of the people that you guys could possibly be dealing with or who this reading is about. We have Italian descent. So some of you guys are dealing with somebody that is Italian or Italian descent. Beard. So some of your people um, have beards. They could like to wear sunglasses. They wear a chain. They wear a necklace. Dark features, dark eyebrows, dark hair color. A mole. Some of your people have a mole on their face. Curvy. So some of your people are curvy or husky built. Curly lashes. Have really nice lashes. Freckles. Redheads. Light-skinned. So we have straight hair. Blonde hair. Somebody that likes to wear earrings, specifically hoops, hoop earrings here. Ponytail, somebody that wears their hair in a ponytail a lot. A long ponytail. 
and somebody that's tatted. We have somebody that wears a high bun. Somebody that you guys are dealing for some of the um, masculines or, you know, anybody that's dealing with a female, um, they like to wear a high bun or it could be a dude too. Somebody could be have a man bun. All right. Okay, so let's see a little bit more about <sighs> why did this person walk away from my collective? Tell me more about why this person walked away from my collective. Yeah, we, this already came out. This person was reckless. I t oh my gosh, guys. I don't even think I need to pull any more of these cards. This is the whole gist of this reading. I didn't see your worth until it was too late. You didn't deserve that. Would you forgive me? That's what this reading is about, guys. That's exactly what this reading is about. Look at this. I figured I was saving you from me. So I also felt this too, guys. That this person didn't feel like they were good enough for you. Even though... It's like this person, it's just like you, something has changed for you guys. It's like you guys are doing a lot better than you used to. You were doing the last time you spoke to this person. It's like something that you guys have achieved. achieved. Now this person's thinking you're high value. And it's like, this person's complicated, guys. It's like, I wish I could explain to you exactly what I'm trying to say about this person. But it's like, I'm not saying that they didn't completely not see your value. But it's like, now they're like, dang, like, I really missed out now. If that makes sense. So it's like. This person struggled with their own self-worth, too. And this person thought that you were better off without them. So they thought that they should remove themselves from, their, from your life. But it's like this person didn't ever imagine that you would be able to achieve what it is that you have achieved. And they're a little bit taken aback by that now. They're floored by that. All right, so let's get some more details. So there's about to be some type of truth that comes to light here. There's been some information about this situation that's been kept secret from you. There's some details that you don't know about this situation, but everything is about to be revealed to you. Everything is going to make sense. Yeah, and it has something to possibly do about the people that this person had around them or the people that you guys have around you. Mm -hmm. 11th house significance look at this energy drainer yeah that's what i'm saying this person sees that you're doing very well for yourself and they want a piece of that and this person can just be an energy vampire they're watching you they're trying to get information on you hmm Or, 
oh my gosh, no. You know what this is, guys? Spirit just gave me a download. This energy drainer isn't them. This isn't this person. They had somebody around them that was draining their energy. Somebody that was close to them. A friend, a family member, an ex, a karmic. They had somebody around them that was draining their energy. This isn't your person. And that's what I feel like is about to be revealed here. They're going to reveal something about somebody that they had around them. And I feel like this person that's around them is watching. They're trying to get information on you. They're trying to get information on if you are you guys are dealing with each other. There's somebody trying to get information on your connection with this person. This relationship between you and this person is actually divinely guided. You and this person have been divinely guided to each other. This person just had to get on the same page as you. But they have somebody around them that's very low vibrational. Somebody has been a little, so somebody was too laid back. Somebody was letting somebody walk on them. All right. This person that you were dealing with, they were letting somebody walk on them. They were a little bit too generous they, that they were freely giving away all that they had to somebody and somebody was taking all that they had, but they were letting somebody do that. They, this person was a little too laid back. Yeah. Yeah. This is somebody that people can easily use because they're too generous. Yeah, they had somebody controlling them, controlling their money, somebody that was very needy, who constantly needed your person's help, needed their money. Wow. Yeah, they had somebody that this person could have been, gosh, guys, this person, oh, I'm good. I'm good. the plot thickens, okay? Oh, my gosh. So, they had somebody that would manipulate them because this person was very attractive, okay? This person that they were dealing with, they were very attracted to this person, and they would use that to manipulate your person. This person was very beautiful. I feel like this person even maybe would try to seduce this person you guys have been dealing with. And it worked because this person was naive. <laughs> and all the only purpose, this person, this karmic or this third party did not love your person. They just wanted money out of them. They wanted materialistic things out of your person. That's the only reason this person has, this karmic has ever dealt with your person is for money. And now this person... They could be going to court over something here. They could be going through some type of legal issues. They could be in some type of contract in regards to this karmic that they can't get out of now. Could be they could it may be even child support. They they could have children with this person. Yeah, look at this one sided. So your person actually did genuinely genuinely care about this karmic or this third party, but this karmic doesn't care about them. They don't have conversions. What is the word? So, first of all, somebody could be getting tarot readings here. The karmic could be getting tarot readings to see what this person is doing with you or what's going on with your person. This person is a narcissist. They're dealing with a narcissist. A very conceited person. Somebody could also be using witchcraft to try to influence your person. So your person, um, somebody could be using black magic on your person. Mm. 
Mm. I feel like their goal is to try to marry this person. They wanted to marry this. Oh, they could be married to this person, guys. And now they owe this person spousal support, child support. But it looks like somebody here, there's been some type of betrayal, backstabbing. So it's like this person that you guys have been dealing with, they're no longer putting the same effort into this situation with this karmic or into their family situation like they were before. So this karmic is trying to find evidence that they have cheated or betrayed. They feel like this person's betraying them. They're cheating on like they feel like they're cheating or that they're associating with you because they don't understand why this person isn't putting as much effort into this family situation anymore. It's like this person is going to be, like their, their vibration is going to, it's like once they remove themselves from this family situation, they're going to be happier. Their vibration is going to go, like their, their vibration is going to raise. And this karmic's going to be wondering like, what the heck's going on with them? Like, why are they so happy? Something's not right. So now I need to investigate what's going on in this person's life because they're a little too happy since they have, since we haven't been together. Or since we've been apart. So now I need to investigate and see what's going on with them. They must be with the, you know, they must be cheating. Or they must be dealing with somebody else. Yeah, this person. This person. <laughs> your person has to set firm boundaries with this karmic. Because this karmic has none. Okay, this karmic just thinks that they can do whatever they want. They think that they own your person. So the moocher is this karmic. The karmic has been mooching off of your person. But I don't feel like they're going to be able to mooch off of your person for much longer. And they're not going to be happy about that. Once you and this, if you and this person were to come together, or if this person was to start associating with you again, they would no longer be able to mooch off of your person and they're, it's going to piss them off. But spirit says, don't let this person, this karmic bother you. Yeah, look at this. They're meeting their match with you. I feel like you're, you're just like, you guys aren't a moocher. You guys, you, get, you guys have no intention to use someone. But it's like, you guys are this person's match. Because I feel like this person that you guys have been dealing with is more like timid. They're very, they're submissive. Or what's the word I'm not? They're not assertive. All right? You're very, you could be very assertive. Per, you're, you're a very assertive person. And you're not going to let this third party mooch off of, your person anymore and especially if you were to get together with this person and you guys ended up combining finances living together and stuff so then the, then they in turn would try to mooch off of your fame your fame your your wealth no you're not gonna let that happen you're just as smart as this karmic you're just you're not gonna let this karmic mooch off of this person anymore steal mooch control your person anymore all that's going to come to an end if you were to come into the picture and they're going to be pissed yeah look at this the situation involves someone's partnerships marriage business matters could be enemies depending on the situations yeah this person <laughs> goodness very toxic situation look at this distorted masculine well i feel like this person's more in the, this person that you guys are dealing with is more in like a, a more submissive feminine energy. I'm not saying that this person is, it's just they're not a very um, assertive person. They avoid conflict. They let people kind of control them. Like if you guys were in a relationship, they wouldn't wear the pants in the relationship. If that makes sense. Or that's how they were in this connection with this karmic. They let this karmic walk on them completely. Use them, take everything that they had, drain their energy. Treat them like crap, but that's not going to be happening for much longer if you and this person were to come together. You're not going to let that happen anymore. Everything is going to change, and this karmic is going to be mad. Well, that what took a different turn right then.
Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm a loud mouth and yeah, it's going to take a certain type of person to uh, make me submit. All right. It's not impossible, but it'll take a certain type of person. So let's see what the future holds. been not they, this person generally could not even be a submissive person but when it came to this karmic they did for some reason submit to this karmic they were like afraid of this karmic for whatever reason it, it could be because there's children involved this karmic was holding the children over them or their money something along those lines all right look at this what did i just say this person was afraid of this karmic karmic newfound courage they worked up the courage they're working up the courage to be able to pursue this the courage to express their feelings. Guys, it says this month. This is going to happen this month. They're going to reveal their true feelings to you that they never had the courage to reveal to you before. Because, guys, they were scared of some type of backlash backlash from a karmic. This could be a soulmate connection. They're going to be ready to open their heart to you. They feel like the time is right. That has already come out again. But look, we had outside influences. It was the karmic influence that was the blockage here. Heavily influenced by the people around them. Opinions or gossip. That's what was causing delays in this situation. Now this person, now spirit is saying that when this person comes back, just around the corner, this person's going to be returning. I feel like you met this person very unexpectedly for some of you. When this person comes back, they says that this person will have learned a very valuable lesson. But yeah, because this um, karmic took them through the ringer. That's why they definitely learned a lesson. They may have chose this karmic over you or they w were refusing to release this karmic and this karmic hung them out to dry. Okay. But now they've learned their lesson, and now Spirit says you can trust them. Yeah, they had to go through a detox period. They had to remove a lot of toxicity from their life. Now it's like they've been, they had to do that to be able to have a new start with you. Everything has gone the way that it's supposed to. Everything had to happen this way. This person's coming in because they're afraid to lose you. They think that you're getting away from them. But Spirit has been protecting you from this situation and from this person because as we've gathered here, it's a very toxic and messy situation. So Spirit was trying to protect you from this until the timing was right or until this person got grew enough balls to be able to handle this, you know, to handle the situation correctly. But Spirit says it's going to be your choice. That's already came out and this person's going to leave it up to you, obviously. It's going to be your choice whether or not you take this person back in or you move on from them. That's totally up to you. Maybe in January, you know, by the time if you do let if this person does come back this month, maybe by January, you'll be able to make a decision about whether or not you want to keep, you know, dealing with this person or if you want to cut them out of your life. Because I feel like that's, a, that's about a month's time. You can see within a month's time if this person's ready to make moves that they need to for this to work. But if not, I see you guys cutting them off. All right, so let's see. What do I want to wrap up the reading here with? Let's get some messages from this person. I burn for you and only you. They're heavily desiring you, yearning for you. Chemistry. Tell me where you want to go. Tell me what you want to do. Baby, just be comfortable. I'll be right next to you. <laughs> I'll be here right next to you. So cheesy. Secrets. I like making you feel jealous and insecure. Mm. Changes. Deleted all my past. I deleted all my past exes for you. You are my main priority. 
this person could have tried to make you jealous in the past because they were insecure. I feel like this person was insecure and they would try to make you feel jealous. It says cup full. Yeah, I'm... What is this card talking about? Lord. I feel like this is lyrics to a song, but I have no idea. This, this card doesn't even make sense. What in the world? So take the effing dress off. I swear you won't forget me. You'll be happy that you let me lay you down, down, down. Yeah, these are like lyrics to songs. Does anybody know this song? Cup full. Yeah, I'm on. Poured up. She ready. Leave here. Two on. Tell me where I'm headed. Tree leaf. A little O. You know I'm faded. Heart shape. And I love that. Come here. I'm down with it. Does anybody know what this song is? <laughs> What have came back for you? I just needed a little time to do what I had to do. Exactly. Complicated. This is exactly what I've been saying about this person. What have came back for you? I just needed time to do what I had to do. I told you this person had to grow a pair. <laughs> but the situation was very complicated. We both signed a, our soul contract to, to one another. I love you for eternity. Spiritual union. Spiritual union has come out twice. I can't keep my eyes off your face, let alone talk about your body. I've been waiting for so long. Girl, you just don't know. Yeah, these are definitely song lyrics. This is a, this is a deck that I just got. So, yeah, I'm still <laughs> getting acquainted with it, all right? So, I'm just going to wrap this up here, guys. I hope that this helped you. I hope that this helped you. I hope that this helped you.